downright sloppy. Not you, Noir. You've been great. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most powerful The Boys characters. Don't worry. Girls get it done. For this list, we'll be looking at the abilities, versatility, and fight records of live action characters in this Amazon universe to determine who's the mightiest. We'll only be looking at people who were still alive with powers when season two ended. Since we'll be talking about death and other plot points, a spoiler warning is in effect. Who's your favorite soup on the boys? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Ezekiel. Or how do I get to hold the whole world in my loving embrace? Why were we chosen? Although Ezekiel spends more time giving speeches and influencing lots of people than punching out bad guys, his powers still seem pretty useful. The stretchy man has the ability to bend and elongate his body to staggering lengths at will. When Ezekiel felt threatened, he was able to extend his arm in a matter of seconds to show his strength. It's possible that he takes after other stretchy characters and can both withstand hits and turn his body into a variety of shapes. Since Ezekiel hasn't fought a lot on screen, it's hard to say how well the stretchy hero would do against his peers. Maybe future episodes will reveal how flexible Ezekiel really is when he needs to defend himself. You try to talk to me like this? You are a filthy, filthy liar. You are unclean. I have a video. I have a video. Number 9, The Deep, aka Kevin Moskowitz. I could be doing so much more, but no. Bot just wants me to make my big, pretty dives in the water. Throughout the series, The Deep has been consistently portrayed as a big joke. However, he does have more than enough power to intimidate the average human. The Deep is formidable enough to dive into the ocean from great heights without harm and easily knock adult criminals around. His ability to call on aquatic allies like sharks and even whales also make him a huge threat if anyone tries to come for him on the water. Deep, it's time. Time for what? For you, it's your time to get back into the seven. As impressive as the Deep is on the sea, he is a bit of an idiot. Additionally, his gills are huge weak spots for anyone who aims for his midsection. The aquatic hero probably should stick to beating up bit criminals instead of trying to duel any serious soups. You're ready. You have been ready all along. Now get out there and be a hero. Number 8, Kimiko Miyashiro. Most people would be lucky to survive a cage match with Kimiko for more than a few seconds. After being mistreated and experimented on, Kimiko gained the power to strike back at anyone who messes with her with brutal and overwhelming strength. Even if an opponent could manage to wound Kimiko, they still would have a hard time keeping her down. She can heal from fatal wounds within minutes and jump right back into the fight. While Kimiko is great in close quarters, she has trouble against people with long range abilities and tranquilizers. She's also lost to several members of the Seven. But Kimiko's regenerative powers and strength are more than enough to keep her in most fights. Girls do get it done. Number 7, Annie January, aka Starlight. You should look away. Sorry? You should turn away from the camera and you should close your eyes or else I'll blind you. There are plenty of reasons this heroine was nominated to join the Elite Seven. She's been training for years, can lift cars, and can recover from superpowered hits quickly. But what really makes Annie shine as Starlight is her ability to turn electricity into flexible light attacks. Hey. She can use her projectiles to push enemies back or disorient them with her bright blasts. Even early on in her professional hero career, fighters like The Deep were intimidated by what she could do. Although Starlight doesn't have a ton of wins against other soups, she has a varied set of powers and a ton of determination. The Radiant Heroine isn't someone you want to underestimate. Miss, do me a favor and shut your eyes. 
Number 6. Cindy Despite only having a small role in season 2, Cindy made a huge impression. Hey, Cindy. Let's be cool. Okay? The mysterious young woman has extremely powerful telekinetic powers at her fingertips. With just one hand, she is able to completely destroy a fully grown human being. Cindy can also rip steel doors off their hinges with little effort. And while it seems like an opponent could stop her by preventing her from using her hands, that's much easier said than done. Neither bullets nor a blast of the powerful Stormfront's lightning were able to keep Cindy down. The limits of her abilities are still unknown at this point, but if she continues to hone her powers, this kid could become a more dangerous telekinetic soup than Kimiko's brother was. Number 5. Reggie Franklin, aka A-Train You alright? Huh? Yeah, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm fast, baby, like I roll, you know? You, you look wild as hell. If an opponent blinks for a second, the Seven's resident speedster may take them out in an instant. This massively quick man can reduce objects and even ordinary living beings to dust if they get in his path while he's going fast. That's not to say that Soup's have an easy time taking him on either. Look, it's a train! Hey! Not only did A-Train run miles around Kimiko, but he was also able to dodge Starlight's quick and effective light blasts. The speedster might have actually beaten the bright heroine if it wasn't for his heart condition. After overusing a substance known as Compound V, A-Train started slowing down a bit. While he might not be the speedster he once was, he can still wrap up a fight pretty quickly. Well, you know me. I'm always in the game, but I'm too fast to catch. Number 4. Victoria Newman Admittedly, fans still had a lot of questions about Newman's extremely threatening powers by the end of Season 2. Look, I have a daughter. I'm worried about super terrorists too. The series suggests that she has the ability to cause people to lose their heads with nothing more than a glance. Although Newman mostly targeted regular humans, she entered a new threat level when she took out Shockwave, a speedster who might be faster than A-Train. Mr. Butcher here has fought Vought harder than we ever have, but I would like a turn if we can trust each other. After that incident, she continued to impress when she fought a strong soup. Newman was able to both take hard hits and cause explosions in an instant. Since she does need to see to make her powers work, opponents can stop her if they cover her eyes. Newman's mind-blowing powers are difficult to beat if you don't know what's coming. They know you're here? I haven't told them yet. When can you start? Number 3. Black Noir Black Noir. We haven't properly met yet. I'm Starlight. Black Noir has one of the most impressive resumes of any soup on the show. This master of stealth has gotten the drop on quite a few people throughout the series. When Black Noir catches them, his incredible fighting skills, super strength, and reflexes make him a nightmare to beat. And to top it all off, he can take explosions to the face and then immediately continue his mission like nothing. Black Noir has either executed or come extremely close to ending the lives of at least three super-powered people. Unfortunately for the dark hero, anyone who knows that he has a tree nut allergy can incapacitate him pretty quickly. Was that an almond joy? He has a tree nut allergy. In literally any other scenario, Black Noir is practically guaranteed to take out his target. Black Noir's here. What? One us. We were cautious. Number two, Margaret Maggie Shaw, aka Queen Maeve. I'm tired of the red tape and the deep state bureaucrats. If the people want us in the armed forces, the people can order Congress to do it. Am I right? As soon as we saw Maeve utterly wreck a speeding truck by just standing still, we knew she was one of the most formidable heroes in the universe. There isn't much that a regular human can do against the extremely durable and wickedly strong soup except beg for mercy. 
And Maeve's record against other superpowered people has been excellent too. Hey, Kraut. Not only was she able to smack Stormfront around, but she easily restrained Black Noir and successfully exploited his weakness. She's also pretty good with a sword. Although she sometimes struggles to stay motivated, she's virtually unstoppable when she gets focused on a goal. Maeve's tremendous abilities and extensive combat experience make it clear why most people consider her to be royalty. You're gonna stop hunting Starlight. You're gonna leave me and Elena alone. Or I release this. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Homelander Homelander? You boys okay? The hero, known as Homelander, was gifted with a grab bag of dangerous abilities. He can shoot lasers, toss adults around with little effort, can fly at blazing speeds, and more. Trying to stop Homelander with weapons is pointless because he's invulnerable to everything from bullets to explosions. Where's my son? Even if an opponent knows that his heightened senses can be used against him, there's still no way to take him out. Most soups are rightfully too scared to raise a hand against Homelander. The only person we've seen that may stand a chance against him is his young son, Ryan Butcher. But until that boy grows up and gets a handle on his powers, Homelander is far, far and away the most powerful being alive. All right, everyone, it's all over. It's all safe. You're all gonna be fine. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.